हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर ऑन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस व्हिच कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू सेपरेबल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस देयर आर सम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशंस व्हिच वी कैन यूज टू कन्वर्ट अवर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इनटू सेपरेबल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बाय मेकिंग सम चेंज ऑफ variables so there are some uh, different types of transformations we will discuss them one by one in this lecture we discuss differential equation uh, which can be written in this form y dash equal to g of y by x that is dy by dx can be written as function of y by x so if we can write or if our differential equation is in this form then if it is not separable in x and y then we can change the variable and we can convert it into separable form using this substitution uh, we will change the variable by this substitution y by x equal to v where v is a function of x so we are changing the dependent variable in this equation 1 dependent variable is y because y is a function of x so we are changing the dependent variable from y to v v is the new dependent variable and we use this substitution so if our differential equation is in this form then using this substitution we can convert this differential equation into separable differential equation in new dependent variable v so differential equation of the form y dash equal to g of y by x can be reduced to separable differential equation by this substitution y by x equal to v where v is function of x and this we can rewrite as y equal to v into x now we differentiate this with respect to x on both sides so left hand side derivative is dy by dx here v is function of x and this is also function of x so we have to apply product rule v as it is derivative of x is 1 and x as it is derivative of v is dv by dx so this is y dash which we can replace by v plus x into dv by dx and we will substitute y by x equal to v so using these two equations 2 and 3 equation 1 reduces to this form v plus x dv by dx equal to g of v now this can be made separable we consider this v on right hand side so x dv by dx equal to g of v minus v now to make variables separable we consider this function on left hand side and we consider this x and dx on the right hand side and we obtain this equation and we can see this is separable in new dependent variable v x remains as it is so we can integrate both sides and we can find out the solution in terms of v and x and after solving in terms of v and x uh, we will substitute v equal to y by x so if our differential equation is in this form y dash equal to some function of y by x if our differential equation can be written in this form then it can be made separable by the substitution y by x equal to v this type of differential equations are sometimes known as homogeneous differential equations of first order but we are not using this term here we will remember that if we can write our differential equation in this form then it can be made separable 
by the substitution y by x equal to v. So we understand this with some examples. Solve the differential equation 2xy y dash equal to y square minus x square. So this we can rewrite as y dash equal to y square minus x square divided by 2xy. y dash I can write as dy by dx. So this is y square minus x square divided by 2xy. Now one more thing here that if right hand side is in such a way that we have division of two polynomials here y square minus x square is a polynomial function in two variables x and y this is also polynomial function in x and y and degree of both the functions is same degree of this function is 2 and degree of this function is also 2 degree means addition of powers of both the variables so here power of x is 1 power of y is 1 so degree is 2 same thing here here both the variables are in this second power so here numerator and denominator are functions of x and y and they are polynomials in x and y and they are polynomials of the same degree so whenever we have this type of equation dy by dx equal to division of two polynomial functions of the same degree then we can convert this equation in this form g of y by x or as a function of y by x so to convert this in terms of function of y by x uh, we have to divide by highest power of independent variable here highest power of independent variable is 2 so uh, we will consider division of numerator and denominator by x square which is independent variable so that uh, we will obtain that function of y by x so i divide numerator and denominator both by x square so y square divided by x square minus x square divided by x square that is 1 2 x y divided by x square so 1 x will cancel out and we have 2 into y divided by x and this we can rewrite as dy by dx equal to y by x whole square minus 1 divided by 2 times y by x so now we can observe that this right hand side is a function of y by x so whenever our differential equation is in this form function of x y divided by function of x y both the functions are of the same degree then uh, we will divide by maximum power of independent variable here it is 2 so we divide numerator and denominator by x square and we will be able to write our differential equation in this form dy by dx as a function of y by x now once we have this uh, form then uh, we can make this separable by taking the substitution y by x equal to v so we now consider y by x equal to v that is y equal to v into x we give this number 2 and if we differentiate both sides with respect to x we have dy by dx equal to v as it is derivative of x is 1 plus x as it is derivative of v is dv by dx because v is function of x so we give this number 3 so we use equations 2 and 3 in this equation 1 so in equation 1 left hand side is dy by dx that we replace by v plus x into dv by dx so using 2 and 3 in 1 uh, we obtain 
left hand side is dy by dx that we replace by v plus x into dv by dx this is equal to on right hand side we substitute y by x equal to v so we have v square minus 1 divided by 2v so in the next step uh, now we try to separate in variables x and v so we take this variable v on right hand side v square minus 1 divided by 2v minus v so therefore x dv by dx equal to here 2v v square minus 1 minus 2v into v that is minus 2v square so therefore x dv by dx equal to 2v v square minus 2v square that is minus v square minus 1 and uh, we can rewrite again right hand side by taking negative sign common so we have v square plus 1 over 2v so therefore 2v divided by v square plus 1 dv equal to minus 1 by x dx so now this is separable in new variables in new dependent variable v and independent variable is x so now we integrate both sides with respect to x and left hand side with respect to v so integrating we get now integral of uh, this uh, 2v upon v square plus 1 is ln v square plus 1 equal to integral of 1 by x is ln x and we can adjust constant of integration as log c and to integrate this uh, we are using this formula if we have function of x in the denominator and if we have derivative in the numerator then formula is logarithm of fx so we are using this formula here in the denominator we have v square plus 1 and its derivative is 2v which is in the numerator so integral is logarithm of denominator which is v square plus 1 so now we substitute v equal to y by x so v is y by x so this is y square by x square plus 1 and this we can rewrite as log of c by x using the property of logarithm and we substitute v equal to y by x and because logarithmic function is 1 1 we have y square by x square plus 1 equal to c divided by x therefore y square plus x square this we can rewrite as divided by x square equal to c by x and 1x will cancel out so we have y square plus x square equal to c into x where c is arbitrary constant so this is the general solution of given differential equation which was not separable but we converted it into separable differential equation by changing the dependent variable from y to v by the substitution v equal to y by x.